Hello, gaming world. Welcome to my channel. I'm Tapman, and uh, we are taking a look at Aaron's Adventure. So we're going to start a new game. This story begins a few thousand years ago. My people were slaves to vile creatures that ruled over us mercilessly. During the day, we never saw the sunlight. But at night, we would lie down and gaze into the eyes that looked back at us. One fateful night, a new light flew across the sky. Fascination caused us to sneak out of camp to observe this wonder. As we approached it, sparks flew from the light. As each spark landed, one by one my friends disappeared. And then one hit me. When I woke up, hours had passed. It was too late to return to camp without being discovered. Once I was among the trees, it took only moments before I was attacked by wolves. I wandered a few steps and finally collapsed. Awakening again, I found myself in some sort of encampment. When I stepped outside, I looked into the faces of elves, men, and dwarves. The eye became a part of me. My wounds healed faster than humanly possible. This wasn't the only ability that I had gained. I was able to perform feats that no other race could dream of. For decades I trained, trying to understand my new powers. More eyes fell from the sky. More people like me were born. After many small victories, we were ready to face our enemy out in the open. Slowly and surely, we drove them back right. to the pits of eternity. We won the war, and the people of Elor were finally free. We became a faction of our own, sworn to protect the people we fought for. Yet we remained outsiders. But time changes everyone. Humans easily repeat mistakes of the past. The endless cycle continues. Suspicion and mistrust of our kind. The sentinels began to grow. The rocks no longer fell from the sky. Humans were facing poverty and struggle, and needed someone to blame. My closest friend left the Council of Sentinels, looking for answers. When he returned, he came out of the Eternal Pits, home of our sworn enemies, with an army. He marched it right to the doorstep of our castle, killing anything and everything along the way. We had no chance against this force. Crowen said we should join him instead of throwing our lives away. Some brave council members sacrificed themselves as a distraction while I led an escape party through stealth. We had a plan, a ritual to trap Crowen and his army, frozen in time. A plan that required us to sacrifice ourselves. Only the falling of a new eye from the sky would break the spell. And so we remained frozen. Uh-huh. Well, I guess the story begins. Now, a new era exists for the people of Elor, though violence is still a part of it. The Sentinels are only a fairy tale that parents tell their children. Yet, something is coming. I can feel it. An innocent child will be born and change everything. This boy could break the cycle of violence and save the people of Elor. All right, Aaron. Stay close. Good morning, Marcus. How's business? All right. Oh, do you still have those blue mushrooms? Elias really loves them. Sometimes I don't get that man. Mm -hmm. I think I'll take a whole basket of them. He wanted to go back to the park. We had a decent harvest this year. Tell you to walk back to the park and see the much. crouch. Where's the cart? <laughs> oh. Oh, I see it down there. All right. Yeah, I don't ever remember playing this. <sighs> I 
I see you've had enough. Let's go home. All right, Mom. There's no reason to be afraid, Aaron. You're a strong young man. Besides, we live in a small town. I'm pretty sure we know everyone. Your father and I will always protect you until you are ready to protect yourself. I love you, son. Now, let's go bring you, your Mom. father these smelly mushrooms. Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead. It might be your birthday, but there won't be any cake for you today. All right, there will be cake, but later. All right. Good morning, buddy. Continue. Today, we are training. I might have overheard you telling your friends that you want to become a soldier. Well, for your very first mission, you'll have to sneak up on me. Oh, I'll be I'll waiting be outside. Manage to him. surprise me, and I'll have a reward for you. All right, see you soon. Or, you know, don't see you soon. <laughs> you won't see me, Dad, I'll tell you that. I need a key to open that. Anything else? I like little games like this. They're, they're interesting. Oh, we don't need that on. It's daylight. Anything in the house I can get? Seems locked. Oh my gosh, everything is locked. Ooh. Oh my gosh, why is everything locked? You're not wanting me to do anything. Ooh, pie. Kids love pie. All right, Dad, where are you? Okay, I'm gonna sneak up on my dad. Oh, I've got to go around the side over here and come up behind him, I think. All right, now we can run. Oh, I got my feet wet. He won't like, uh-oh. I don't know if I can get up there. Do you guess? Just might, just might. Great job, son. Now, for your epic reward, we made you this sword and shield. What? I got this like sword and shield, Daddy? These tools are definitely useful, but sometimes it's easier to sneak past dangerous situations. All right. Your mother and I have sneaked in and out of castles without ever being heard. Well, we have been known for turning the place upside down as well. Wow, this is crazy, thanks. When can I get a real sword? In a few more birthdays. Well, I have to go make myself useful now. Why don't you go find your mother? She's waiting for you with another surprise. I'll stick her with my splinter sword. Let's see if he's got anything else to say. I guess not. Okay, Mom. All right, I'll see you down there, Mom. Just walking by stuff in case something lights up. Ooh, a great jump. Hey, Mommy. Happy birthday, son. You'll never guess what I got for you. This mm. goes along with the new sword and shield we had made for your birthday. What is it? I've always wanted to shoot a bow and arrow before. Can I go shoot the chickens? <laughs> I hope you'll enjoy it as much as I do. All right. 
continue. Why don't you try and hit those three targets I set up? I'll show you my bow skills, Mom. Equip and aim. Okay. Oh. All right, we got it. Targets. All right. Okay, you just let it up. Got to do the right one. Talk to Mom. Mom, can you give me my arrows back? Fantastic! You're really good at this. Are you sure you haven't done this before? Why don't you try hitting the targets again? I have some work to do now. Three okay. more chickens have been killed. I think it's a fox. Okay. Oh, again? Oh, get out, I'll have a look later fox. this week. I have that trade this afternoon. No rush, honey. We'll find it later. I'll have someone look at the fence. With your bow holstered, press to equip your sword. Alright, attack with the left mouse button. Perform a heavy attack holding down when attacking. Whoop. Okay. You stab the enemy with air. That wasn't a stab. Okay. You can dodge with alt. Alright. You can also roll by pressing We got to find a fox, I do believe. Where's he at? Oh. Let's go to the fence. Maybe we'll have information. Hello, Warwick. Detective Aaron. On the job. Yep, that's me, sir. These chickens seem to have been attacked by an animal. I probably, it probably left tracks. Let's find out what it, who did this. Up outside of combat to scan the environment. Okay. There goes the tracks. Oh, that's pretty neat. Oh, we got a fox den here. Chicken problems. We got him. Kill the fox. Quest complete. Nice. Time to go home. I gotta find out if there's anything else in here though. All right, let's go home. We'll tell Mom and Dad a straight deed I did. Oh, sorry, y'all. We live in the big house on the hill. Did you get me some of those blue mushrooms at the market, honey? You know I got you them stinky It's things. not your birthday today. We're eating Aaron's favorite. All right. What has our soldier been up to this afternoon? I tracked down the fox and made sure he wouldn't need any more chickens. Uh, I might have killed a fox. You did what? I see. Well... Good job on hunting it down, I suppose. But next time, maybe come and get me when you find it. I like our chickens. I wanted to help them. I thought it, it did, would have. but it could also have been dangerous. Next time, just call one of us over, Aaron. Quit. We being don't so want you getting hurt. Some dad. Besides, you still have a wooden sword. That's all right. That box is full of splinters. Oh. <sighs> 
You do have our knack for getting yourself into difficult situations. Did your father ever tell you the story of how we accidentally ended up in the royal chambers of the king? Uh... No. Strangely enough, it started out as a contract for the queen. Do I have to listen to this? And I guess I practice and practice and practice and get better. Oh, I got me a horsey. Watch out, sir. Chapter one, eight years later. Oh, nice. Aaron's Adventure. Very nice, very nice. Talk to your father. Well, why didn't they leave me at home? Oh, where's father? Right there. Hey, Dad. Good morning. Ready for another day of hard work. You know, it ain't much, but it's honest work. I'm ready. Wait. Wait, this can't be happening. This must be it. Aaron. The Sentinels are returning. Was that an eye? Well, it landed all the way on that, that hill. Did you die when you touch one of those rocks? It sure looks like it. Imagine. No aging. Being able to jump as high as a house. We haven't seen sentinels in hundreds of years. I wonder why it dropped now. Uh, what was that uh, shock? Uh, Dad, are you hundreds Is that normal? of years old? I spent most of my life traveling Elor, looking for one of these. You should no, get it. I shouldn't. You should. Well, that's what I was going to say, but I figured it would tell me now. Something bad is coming, Aaron. And I don't want to give you the responsibility to deal with it. But I think you have what it takes. Oh, I have what it takes. You have Dad. a good heart. You're good with a bow and sword. You don't get to be your young self anymore after today. But your mother and I will help you figure this out. Uh... All right, Dad, good. I'll go. I'm proud of you, son. Bring these potions. Now go. I'll go talk to your mother. Go and good luck. Thanks, Dad. Good luck. All right. Where's that hill that hit at? Well, yonder somewhere? Yep. All right. Well, what do these people want to sell stuff? Okay, we'll go tend our business. Careful out there. Oh, everything else better be careful. Because I'm a mean mo. <laughs> Just looking around, trying to get the lay of the land. All right, it's up there. Oh, town's starting to fade away. But I've been up here many times. Me and Dad have been here doing stuff along the way. What in the world? Mine don't... Oh, that's in combat. Uh-oh. Boy, he was not a... 
bit of problems for me. I took him right out. Let's see, is there anything here I can get? Nope. Well, we have... Oh, that looks like a bag. Alright, let's go on up the hill. Boy, this game is very colorful, ain't it? Ha! Yeah, ha! All right, so I guess we got to go through here and around. Do, 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 do. Do we have a... Stamina that we're running out of while we're running? He didn't know. It's amazing that this landed up here right where this path goes. We're about there though. Gotta look round. Make sure there's no dangers. Alright. Oh, I love the changing of the sounds. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Quest completed. Go to the pack site. away. Oh goodness. Where am I? Kara. Who are you? My name is Aaron. Did you lose? Did, did you arrive too late? Oh. Uh, Sorry, I don't I can see your memories, and I remember some of my own. My name is Kara, and you are Aaron. The boy that touched the eye. Yes. Don't be afraid, Aaron. You arrived on time. The world is not yet lost. Well, I hope We not. are in the rest. A world existing parallel to yours. Created by me and the other Sentinels. This is a place where we share knowledge, and a place where we come to rest. You can learn a great many things here, but we are short on time. Uh... You are not really here? My spirit has been adrift for many years. Decades, centuries maybe. My energy used to imprison the ones that betrayed me. The last eye landing shook things up. It pulled me in and now I am here. A part of me is now a part of you as well. If you are here, then where is the enemy? You are stuck inside me? <laughs> the enemy will have woken up as well. They will feel the energy of the meteor glow, and they will come for it. Hoping they can destroy or harvest it before someone else. Okay. Yes, we should go. Wake up, Aaron. All right. Ooh. Oh, 
Ah, let's see what I can do then. strong because I touched the eye. Let me in. Aha. Aaron, leave. No, Dad. Remember, we protect those that can't protect themselves. We love you, son. Aaron showed him. Oh, goodness. A boy. That is what the eyes send to oppose me. The hero is born. All right. Let's save. See if we can save now. Yep. Thank you for being here. Please subscribe, like, and share if you would. And have yourself a great, fantastic day. And we'll see you in the next installment of Aaron's Adventure. Thanks, everybody.